Tommy is on this advice. Thank you so much for tuning in. Apology for the noise in the background. I have my heater on and then I also have two birds, Yippee and Juju. Uh, this is going to be a video on five or so signs that the person or this person that you are around or have been around or you're hanging around with likes toxicity and drama. Number one, they're always around people that bring drama. Like, for example, let's just say you're out and about. They invited you to a kickback. You notice that maybe they have some people there they know. And all of a sudden, these people are arguing back and forth. Just from that interaction... I think this person likes toxicity because for me personally, I avoid people that bring drama, that bring negativity, that always have chaotic reactions or interactions with people because basically I'm too grown for it. To me, somebody that solely needs validation or seeks validation from people that are involved with drama are bored and I don't understand it. I don't, I just, number two, always has the tea. This is crazy because uh, my coworker that I work with, right? I noticed when I first started working with her, um, her first thing would be, oh, hey girl, what's the tea? And sadly, um, you know, she's coming from a, a different background, religious belief and culture. So I thought it was out of like boredom, but then I noticed like when I would be telling her stuff, how she would react to it, pay attention to people that are always, um, feeding for information about you, what's going on, updates, but they rarely reciprocate that, right? If you ask them a question like, oh, well, what's been going on with you, girl? What's the tea? Right? That's how I respond to this girl. She's like, oh, nothing much, you know, same old, same old, you know. I'm like, uh, I'm not going to be your entertainment. I'm not, you know, a celebrity. I'm not... Like, girl, be aware of people that are like this. And from my interactions and experience, I'm not saying men don't like drama or toxicity, but I've noticed it more in women. Um, that's one of the reasons why I feel like I don't have or can't have female friends. They're always seeking attention, validation, um, and drama it, it's just it's just fake like and i'm too i'm too grown for it number three they're always venting about something that they're choosing to deal with right rather it's a relationship rather it's um family drama and they always have this type of victim mindset for me it's like i've gotten to the point where I have to call myself out on my own BS. And that's the same with people that I interact with, right? And I noticed, like, it's one family member in particular would always call me to vent, right? But then it's like, you're venting about the same thing that you are choosing to deal with. So at this point, I don't have any empathy for you. For me, it's like, since you are choosing to deal with somebody that is full of toxicity and drama, that means you are surrounding yourself and your life revolves around that. And sadly, until this person sees that people don't want to be around them, sees that, you know, people rarely hang around them. It's like they're never going to learn. I think for some people, toxicity and drama becomes the norm. And so without it, they don't know how to deal with it. Right. Number four, watching how they react to 
arguments or when drama starts. What I noticed was like for me, I would say I only hang around people that I feel like give off supportive, positive energy. And because I am the person I am, I can pick up on fakeness, disingenuousness, um, just, just, I can pick up on it. But what I've noticed when hanging around certain people is like when arguments break out, how they react to it. Because for me, it's like, I don't want to see, you know, people tumbling, wrestling and arguing. For me, I'm going to get up out of there, you know? Um, now, because I'm always and have always been trying to be in charge of my peace. So if I am around people that don't bring me peace, I avoid interactions with them. That's why I'm not a big fan of getting invited to like kickbacks and, and parties and events where I don't know people because I don't know what they're about. And because I am the way I am, um, I think that that brings envious people um, towards me. Um, number five, they gossip and are the drama starters. They're, they'll even say, like, out of their own mouths, I'm looking for, like, drama, or I'm looking forward to this event because I know it's going to be drama, or it's going to be, you know, something happening. I remember when I was in college, I had this friend, and um, he was gay. <laughs> um, not that that makes any difference, but I noticed that he was always the one feeding for drama. And I'm like, uh-uh. Like, he was really cool. But then he had this other side where I'm just like, I'm chilling. I'm, you know, trying to be at peace. And that's one of the reasons why I had to cut him off. Because, like, the coworker that I still have to interact with, it was like looking for something to, like, pop off or for something to happen. Um, and that's the last sign. I mean, I feel like if you are around people that sh that are showing these particular signs, you really need to reevaluate um, and see if you can have a conversation with them. Um, but if not, they need to be cut off because to me, people that bring drama and toxicity is negative vibes and negative energy and if you're trying to improve on yourself and you're trying to you, you've got goals, that that type of energy, those types of people can deter you from making progress to whatever it is being your ultimate goal. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your personal experience and subscribe. Have a great day.